can't wait to start this new game. I heard the main story is awesome with so many great NPCs. Everyone's talking about it. All the classes look so fun too. I don't even know which race to play. It's this one. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV, where you can create your very unique and one-of-a-kind character and go on adventures with your trustworthy companions. You must be thinking you are very extremely special for choosing Mikote as your character's race. Are you kidding me right now? What kind of basic person plays a human in a fantasy game after all, right? You're not basic. You wanna have fun. You wanna be different from everyone else. That's why you play Mikote. Well, I have bad news for you. Congratulations, you are basic. Like almost a quarter of the community and me, of course. Every Final Fantasy XIV player will turn into a Mikote at least at one point. Bonus points if you have white hair. Again, like me, I'm guilty too. It's really hard to resist the urge to just capped and it's just not me saying this look at these statistics that's right i come with the proof today even though most players start the game as a male here mikote is the most popular end game race and for a good reason of course we are awesome i'm totally unbiased hey it's av cats and this is 10 reasons why you should play a mikote in final fantasy 14 also known as copying for mikote players like me to feel a little more special so sit back sip on your fantasia and enjoy the ride reason one do you look just a Adorable. Look into my eyes, be honest, and say you don't like Mikote. You can't, right? And it's not just because of the Glock in my hand. With their adorable feline ears and fluffy tails, Mikote are one of the most likable races in Final Fantasy XIV. They don't cater to people with niche tastes. They are your average cute and not too beast-like race. There's just not much to not like about them. And I think that's what makes them so popular in the XIV community. With their soft-looking faces and big doe eyes, you can't go wrong with them. While creating a good-looking character can be a bit more challenging for some other races. Creating a good looking Mikote is just the easiest thing ever. You could honestly just randomize all the options and it's still gonna look good. It's a bit unfair, really. They are so cute. Just look at her. She will do nothing wrong, right? Right? Reason 2. You get to have fangs. Well, only if you choose the correct subrace. Do you want some vampire tootsies? Some chompers to bite your online friends with? That's right, you're unsafe. That's the only reason why I play a Mikote. No one is immune to the good old Mikote chomp. Keepers of the Moon Mikote are the only race that comes with feline fangs. Except for Roscar, of course. They are just proper cats with full of muzzles, but guess what else they are? Maidenless. Also, this video is about Mikote. Fight me, I'll fight you back. Reason 3. Mikote have great animations. Mikote animations are one of the most animated ones in Final Fantasy XIV. They did a great job at giving them cat-like movements and it's so adorable. Their animations are super energetic and so fun to play around with. Just look at this dude panicking. Not to be dramatic, but I will thunder a whole star for him. Calm down, I said I would. Didn't say I will. Unless... I will personally describe female Mikota animations as a bit more boyish than most other races. And naturally, as a woman who grew up as a bit of a tomboy herself, I find it absolutely adorable. As for Mikota males, they kind of give off a friendly joke vibe. Friendly jokes who are in constant struggle to not sniff you like a pervert. And curl your fingers, weirdo. Okay, maybe just that one standing position is a little bit weird, but the rest are pretty good. Reason 4. Ear wiggles. Alright, I'll just say what everyone's thinking. Female Mikote are robbed for not having the same ear wiggles the male Mikote have. If you play a male Mikote and never tried slash joy emote, just pause this video, get in game and try it immediately. It's the cutest thing ever. A 14 legend says an ear wiggle a day keep the bad RNG and bad rolls away. Female Mikote ear wiggles are unfortunately not as pronounced as the male ones, but there are still some emotes that make our ears move. Also, did you know Mikota ears wiggle when they drink something or eat a drinkable food item? Next time you give your cat some milk, pay attention to their ears. They seem to like it a little more than other food. The more you know. Reason 5. Ear glows. Okay, not everyone might like this one, but I find it super cute how some hats have some ear space for Mikote. Like their ears must be super cozy in there. It's a mystery how they hear with those hats on though. Hmm? What was it? Sorry, I didn't catch you there. I was busy being fashionable. It looks so silly, I love it. Imagine if they implemented the same thing for VRS2. Just take a moment and imagine huge glowed bunny ears on top of their hats. What? You don't like it? Well, guess what? At least I can wear hats. Reason 6. Mikote lore is fascinating. 
Sailing from the mysterious continent of Mercedia, Mikote can be found all around Eorzea. They have a really rich culture with two different ethnicities and very different customs. Seekers of the San Mikote live in tribes kind of similar to Alliance Pride. Each tribe is centered around a nun whose duty is to be a giga chat and protect his family. If you're a Tia, that means you are submissive and breedable. If a male seeker wants to form his own family, he has to defeat his current nun in combat and claim his title. If that doesn't work, they can also leave the tribe and create their own, like salty people do after they kicked out of a free company for being toxic. They also worship Azama, the goddess of sun and fire. Keepers of the moon, in the other hand, live in matriarchal tribes. Unlike the seekers, the keepers of the moon believe not just Sia but all men, in fact, are submissive and breedable. Which kind of explains why male keepers tend to wander along. Keepers are hunters and huntresses, and they are deeply devoted to Menfina, the goddess of the moon and love. They have such a rich lore and I'm loving it. Reason 7 Mikote Naming Conventions Mikote have one of the most unique naming conventions in 14. It just feels so immersive to see people running around with traditional Mikote names. What? I said I love them, I didn't say I'm one of them. I'm the kind of person who names all their animals sheep in Island Sanctuary. Lower your expectations. Reason 8 It's so much fun to roleplay as a Mikote. Final Fantasy XIV has a huge roleplay community, and as a roleplayer myself, I have to admit, writing a Mikote character can be a lot more fun than writing other races. It's mostly because they can be super expressive by using their tails and their ears. It makes it a lot easier to communicate their feelings. It probably won't make so much sense to you unless you roleplayed in fourteen before, but if you're a roleplayer, you know what I mean. Once you start roleplaying as a Mikote, there is no turning back. Reason 9. Mikote laughter is the best and the most terrifying thing you'll ever hear in your life. Just listen to this and tell me if it belongs to a sane person. <laughs> I know, it does not. And I love it. I will try to fix her, but honestly, I kinda like it better this way. Reason 10. Cat puns. Oh my god, they are everywhere. I'm not entirely positive, it's a good thing actually. I don't even know how some people come up with these names. They are the true cryptids of Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, here are some of my favorite Mikota names. Mialfino Leveler. Mikolas Cage. Mialive Oil. Schrodinger's Cat Girl. Jennifer Parent. Mialf the Heal. <laughs> I love this community. We operate in a single brain cell. Okay, this one's extra impressive. You stole my heart, I stole your heart. It's so adorable. I ship them together. Guys, it's Guy Fury. He's gonna queue us to the flavor town. Okay, I can't with this community. I'm getting distracted. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving to me. I love your guts and I want to keep creating content you guys will enjoy. Also, I'm planning to turn this into a whole series so comment down below which final fantasy 14 race should i make a video about next i wish you all an amazing new year and i'll see you in my next video stay cozy